What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. GameHub Emulator just got another new update, version 4.1.5. In this one, they've made some key improvements and bug fixes. The Cloud Gaming channel is now upgraded to play AAA games instantly, the interface and settings have been optimized, and there's full support added for running PC emulators on Mali GPU devices. Controller pairing has also been improved with a few bugs patched along the way. And the phone I'm using right now, you know, is the Galaxy device powered by the Exynos 1380 with the Mali G68 5-core GPU and 6 gigs of RAM on the downside. I do recommend, if you have 8 gigs RAM or above, it'll run better and more stable. As usual, let's open Game Hub. Here, I've already imported the game. Let's go to PC settings. These are the general settings. In compatibility, set the layer to Proton 10 version, GPU driver to system driver, and set VRAM limit to one gigabyte for low RAM devices. Now let's load the game. Also, do follow the timestamps mentioned below in the description. And yeah, the phone is already getting hot, so I've attached a cooler. Okay, all right. We're getting around 10 to 12 FPS here. Looks very laggy, and this GPU still needs more optimization. Also, the lag is mainly due to low RAM, like I mentioned. It's using up to 87% even in the first mission. In real world use, this will definitely need more RAM. Well, for Snapdragon users, it's completely different. It even runs better on 6 gig RAM devices. It's all about optimization. Mali GPUs still need more support in the future. Anyways, let's try loading into the real world. I've already updated the save file. And there we go. As you can see, it lags a lot, running frame by frame. I also recommend trying Win later as well. Some games may actually work better there. Also, let me know how much FPS you're getting on the same Exynos 1380 device with 8G by RAM. Maybe it's much better. Now let's go to the next one, Tomb Raider 2013. Here, everything is set to low preset, V-Sync is disabled, and it crashed again. Now let's go to Just Cause 2. It's based on DirectX 10, and again, here, everything is set to low. That's it for this video. Game Hub is improving, but on Mali GPUs, especially with lower RAM devices, it still needs more optimization. And as always, if you found this helpful, make sure to like, 
share, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.